Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about how to draw these kind of reinforced material links in AutoCAD. of this tutorial is not to teach you the AutoCAD alright so I assume that you know the basics of the AutoCAD alright so so first thing first uh, this is, is a column and here you can see there are 20 number 20 diameter bars in 12 numbers and uh, it is a 450 by 350 column alright so so once you know how to draw the column you can also draw the beam as well okay so first thing what you need to do is that you need to draw this outer rectangle alright so this rectangle you have to draw first for that you can use the rectangle command or here you can just start your drawing the rectangle alright so here we specify the first point after that shift add the rate right so you just press add the rate and so put your dimensions 450 comma 350 and hit enter right so you got your outer rectangle here so after that what you have to do is you have to locate the center line of this reinforcement so the outer reinforcement alright so you have to uh, locate the center line of these reinforcements so what do you do uh, so you have to find the distance from this outer edge up to the center point of this rebar okay so uh, you must know that uh, the distance from uh, outer edge to the center point of this rebar is its effective cover right which is equal to the clear cover plus the half of the diameter of this uh, rewire right so the total distance from this outer edge up to the center is 40 clear cover plus half of the diameter of the bar that is 10 so 40 plus 10 50 so we offset this by 50 mm all right so click into o enter and specify the distance we press 50 enter and we press inside right so we got the center line of this rewire now that uh, we uh, have to locate uh, these three rebars as well so uh, the basic assumption is that uh, these rebars all are placed uh, placed at equal distance from each other so one two three four five these rebars are placed at equal distance from each other so what do we do we just divide this length into one two three and four parts right so let us first measure uh, this length right so we go to linear dimension and we measure this and it's 350 mm right so it's 350 mm now what do we do we just divide it into four parts which turns out to be 87.5 mm right now we first draw a, a line here this overlap a line right so enter now we select this line and click on offset so we just hit O enter and that is for the offset right command for the offset now we offset by 87.5 mm hit enter now one so again select it again select it and hit enter right and similarly we got uh, these two rebars at the center of this portion so what do we do we just draw a line then press shift and right click we get uh, this menu and click on midpoint that will do a midpoint O snap right we click here now then we go to other end and similarly we again right shift right click and click on midpoint for midpoint O snap right click enter all right so after that what we do we draw the reverse right so just uh, start the circle command with center and radius and draw a circle of uh, you know so this is a 10 mm right so what we do now after the drawing the circle we hatch it all right so select it and click on hatch and select the internal point Right, so you can see uh, the hatching is not regular here so what we do we select solid now it's all black right so after that we select the circle and press on copy select this yeah, so we have to uh, specify the base point we specify a center uh, point as the base point and we just take them here right so wherever you is located we just take them all right just like this right after that hit enter now we don't need uh, these lines we just erase them okay okay so now we are getting much a bit closer now all right so what we do now is that we just delete this line the overlap line and again select it and click on offset so that is offset all right oh and offset distance we offset by 10 mm that is the radius of the rebar all right 10 and we offset at the outer edge 
right just like this we have offset now we select the inner rectangle and we just delete it all right so after that what do we do we just go to fillet right so fillet command and uh, click on radius and we give radius as 10 mm that is the again the radius of the rebar all right and click on multiple for multiple uh, uh, fillets right and click here here so we just fillet them here here again again we do right so we got our outer stirrup here so you can see the outer ring that we got uh, outer stirrup all right okay so what do we do now we have to increase the breadth right so it is a bit thicker it has shown uh, as on this bit thicker right so what do we do we have to increase the thickness so we select it and uh, so we just hit P edit command right click enter now we just click your width so if you uh, don't see this kind of menu what you can do is that you just press W from your keyboard and it will just enter into uh, width mode alright so click on width and it specifies the new width for all the segments so as the, our stirrup is 10 mm in diameter right so we press 10 and hit enter now you can see that our stirrup we have drawn the stirrup as well right so again uh, so if you need a much thicker line so just like here so the, these lines are much thicker than uh, you know 10 mm so you can do uh, as uh, per your purpose all right okay and now uh, what do we have to do we have to uh, get these two hooks done right so you must know that uh, so this hook right so this hook this comes from here so this rebar is bent and hook like this so this angle uh, this angle is 135 degree so you must know that right so this angle is from here right so this angle this angle is 135 degree similarly so for this hook as well uh, okay so this is turned orthogonal on and so this rebar goes in uh, is hooked like this no so this rebar uh, this angle is 135 degrees so, however you don't have to be that much precise that it is 135 degree no so you have to just show that uh, there is a hook here right so what do we do we just click on line and uh, so snap somewhere here right so that won't be good right okay so we just uh, turn off the auto mode right so we just draw a line uh, like this right so now what do we do we just select it again go to p edit and hit o so it's the width right and click on 10 now uh, it's wide right so but it's a bit inside so what do we do we just move it a bit and take it here right again if you want to move a bit more we can do that as well yeah now it looks good right so uh, this is blue and this is black you know you, if you want to change the color you can uh, change the color from layers right so that that must not be a problem so i can do this uh, instantly like just select them and click on uh right so our green so we got this as blue so no problem there right so again what do you do we just copy it copy it and it's specify the basement somewhere here and uh, just paste it right over there right so we got the hooks now that looks good right so we got the hooks and we got the reverse as well now now what do we do uh, so we have drawn uh, this outer stirrup right so now we draw this inner stirrup so again we draw the line and uh, yeah so click on the center point here and center point here right hit enter so we just change the layer to rin right and again click on rin right okay so now what you do we just offset this line uh, hit O and enter and it's because the offset distance 10 is good so 10 and we offset at the outer edge also right so click uh, just delete this line and again we just now so this uh, bar uh, this line is only up to this point right so we have to take it here so what we do we just use the extend command so press EX and enter so select uh, this line and uh, hit enter and after that select this line so the line is extended up to there right similarly here also select this line and it will be extended up to there right so now again we increase it its width right so P edit and enter uh, W enter so it's 10 enter right so we get the 
it so now you just copy it uh, or you can mirror it uh, if you like right so we can mirror it select the object we selected it and hit enter it specifies that we just center line this and this no yeah so we get our another another leg of the ht drop so now we need a hook again so what you can do we can select these two and copy them with the center point as the base point and paste them here just like this okay right so we got two ht drops here right all right so yeah and yeah, they, they look good right so now we need this third uh, ring here all right so what do we do we again draw the line from here up to here hit enter we offset it by 10 mm and into the other right we just delete it all right okay so we again we edit and y and width and it's 10 enter that's wide enough and again we just draw so similarly you draw other lines as well So we got a column here, right? So just like this one, right? So you guys got thicker lines, I got thinner lines, but it doesn't matter, right? So all you have to do is that you just have to demonstrate what kind of bars you're gonna have, what number of bars you're gonna have, and how the stir up is going to be arranged, right? So nothing more. All right, guys. So this is how you draw these kind of reinforcement detailings. All right. So uh, you can uh, you know change uh, whatever you like as per your purpose. So you can just bring it uh, here. So you just have to decrease the offset uh, distance, right? So as you can see here, that uh, there is a small gap between uh, the outer edge of this rebar to here. So you can do that here as well, right? So for uh, you know, it's, it's we took the offset distance at 50 mm. So you can take the offset distance at like uh, 30 mm right okay so this is how you do it i uh, hope this video was helpful uh, thank you for watching take care